Good afternoon, folks. This is Longshot1982 here with another statue review. Today, I'm really excited to bring to you a very underappreciated piece. What am I referring to, you ask, is displayed in front of you. The Sideshow Sabretooth Premium Format. This is a regular edition. Uh, his exclusive head actually is kind of cool. It's got his face snarled out, you know, kind of like the Wolverine Premium Format where he's kind of roaring at each other, and they actually go together as a really good diorama. Uh, his real name is Victor Creed, this character, and his first appearance is, is in from uh, Iron Fist number 14 from August of 1977. Now, there's a lot of things with this character that's pretty amazing, but first let me get a close-up of his face for you. He's really, uh, really diabolical looking here. It shows all the skin texture. His expression on his face is really, really evil. He's got the nice glossing on the eyes, right? And the exclusive is actually one of those exclusives that's kind of worth getting. Uh, the overall pose of this thing, it's like he's ready to jump right off the base. The base is a base basically of Canada, the Canadian leaves. They're both, both Wolverine and Sabretooth are Canadian. There's very little difference between the two of them, except for the fact that Wolverine does not embrace his uh, savage nature as opposed to Sabretooth, who does. Here's a skull of either a wolverine or a deer of some kind. And um, I'm going to go around the base for you real quick. A lot of good rock detail in this, like he's on top of a mountain, you know, fighting with wolverine. Um, they, when they go together, it really, really looks good. Uh, a lot of people might not agree with me on this, but I actually prefer this piece over the Wolverine Premium format for two reasons. One, it's bigger, and two, I could relate more to uh, Sabretooth because I'm more of a savage than, uh, than, than Wolverine is, so obviously, you know, I would relate more to him. Now, the critique I have is his costume, the all-cloth costume, is very really similar to my uh, evening pajama pants. The cloth is, you know, kind of has a tendency to pill, just like the other one, uh, just like the Wolverine Premium format. Uh, and it's not that easy to take on and off the base because you have to touch the cloth. And if your hands aren't clean, they have a tendency to pill the cloth if you're not careful. His gloves are really awesome looking right over here. It looks like real gloves. It's textured nicely. Magnets go right in there, real strong magnets. Uh, the, this piece came out when Sideshow was really good on their QC. Um, now it's kind of weird to even say if they have any at all. Uh, well, actually, that's not fair. They're, they're getting back into the game, which is what, you know, all the fans really want. This piece is really cool. I mean, you could get it for under $400. For a premium format of this age, it's actually pretty good. You know, hard finding that, you know, now the regular PFs are. Even the skinny ones are like four hundred dollars or three three sixty nine each. So uh, you know this here's here's the gloves, the claws. Wolverine he has his claws in his um, in the upper part of his forearm. Uh, Victor Creed has his claws right at his at his fingertips. Uh, they both were uh, experiments of the Weapon X. They both have the same healing factor. Like I said, their their mutant abilities are identical. Except for, you know, one guy embraces who he is a little bit more than the other one. It's pretty much all it bubbles down to. Uh, I give this piece, other than his pajama pants, I give this a nice solid 9 out of 10. And I, I happen to like it better than the Wolverine Premium format, in my own opinion. Um, that's going to be it for me today, folks. Uh, this is Long Shot here. Please sub me. Please comment. I'd love to know what you think of this review and this statue. You guys are great. Have a great day.